Hey out there folks, Matt Mirage here, coming to you from Columbus, Ohio, on behalf of the Film Photography Podcast, the bi-monthly internet radio program dedicated to folks who love to shoot film. All things traditional, instant, 35, 110, 8x10, and everything else in between. If it's traditional, we cover it. Filmphotographyproject.com is where you can go to learn more. A new product that's coming to the Film Photography Store in this December is this fantastic little piece, the Black Cat Extended Range Exposure Guide. This is such a cool little tool, folks. Uh, Mr. Mike Rosso, host of the FPP, sent this to me a few weeks back saying, Matt, let me know what you think about this. Let the listeners at home know what you think. And I could not think any more highly of this fantastic little pamphlet. So inside, we have some quick instructions on how to use her. Uh, we have some more definitions and uh, a few uh, extended descriptions of everything that's in here, but the meat and potatoes of the assembly is this little guy. Uh, the very front of this is a little exposure wheel. So uh, the top half has a bunch of letters, the bottom half has a bunch of f-stops, and then in the middle here we have uh, shutter speeds followed by film speeds. Um, and in this guide, it is almost every single exposure scenario you could imagine. So we have A to Z up here. The A to Z corresponds to any number of given scenarios for shooting from something in quarter, uh, quarter moon, crescent moon, uh, moonlight landscapes, all the way down to Christmas tree lights. So very relevant uh, little things for just about anything. Those cor uh, correspond to a letter value which represents a certain amount of illumination, and then we pair that up with our aperture and our film speed to arrive at the correct exposure. For our zone system practitioners at home, there is also a handy dandy little zone system chart on the shutter speed selector. So you don't believe me with this can handle your camera, digital, pinhole, anything, it's covered in here. Aperture of 1.0 all the way to 1024. So pinhole guys, we got you covered there. All right, shutter speeds all the way from one 128 thousandth of a second. What? What? All the way to 27 hours. Again, incredibly short exposures, incredibly fast exposures. Those are all covered right on this wheel. Film speeds. Let's say you're shooting something really kooky from the FPP store. 0.1 ISO all the way up to, oh, this can't be right. 1.6 million, 1.6 million. So you have one of those crazy several thousand dollar uh, digital SLR cameras or mirrorless cameras that can go up to those crazy high ISOs. This exposure card still works where no batteries do. All you do is find what type of light you're shooting under in the brief description here, match that up, up here with the shutter speed uh, wheel dial in your ASA and the desired aperture you're working at, and boom, you have a reliable exposure. I shot a whole box of large format color film with this guy and was not disappointed. It was so close to in the ballpark to everything I was shooting the whole morning I was out shooting, I was just incredibly impressed. This is a fantastic little gift if you just need a uh, a stocking stuffer for the film photographer in your life or you are the film photographer in your life and you're just looking for something that can run when no batteries will. This is a fantastic little guide. We're going to have these in filmphotographystore.com. If you have any questions, you can leave them below in the comments. Uh, like, share, and subscribe and uh, we'll come back to you soon with some more cool products. See you then.